Hello, this is David Dean, and if you're watching this, that means I got something good out of the Legendary Troll Loot Truck Llama. Um, because if I don't get anything good, I won't be posting it. Um, just to let you know, I just ran through Canny Valley Storm Shield Defense number one, just so I could get enough V-Bucks to um, open up one of these. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm good enough to run... Um, 15 more Storm Shield defenses in 24 hours, so it will be just one of the llamas. So we'll go ahead and get that started. And let's see what we get here, because I am getting kind of desperate. Usually I'm really focused on getting traps, but I really need another weapon. I need a um, longer range one. I have a great double barrel shotgun, but... Um, <laughs> it doesn't always work all that well when I got to go chase down lobbers and other things, which a sniper rifle would be great for. But let's see what we end up getting here. All right. Ah, oh, I would love to have that legendary, even though... Oh, no, it has decent range on it. Um, schematic. Um, actually, I, I have almost all legendary survivors right now. So we're going to go ahead and get an epic schematic. And that's worthless. All right, and a little bit more on Survivor, Guardian Bull. Um, okay, and more Survivor. This is what we're talking. Oh, we got something with a scope. Ask and you shall receive. All right, what do we got here? Sword or club? Um, doesn't really matter. But let's see. I'm trying to think. Actually, let's go sword. I do have a decent weapon for my constructor. And Copper Haywire, that could actually be good. Oh, Stampede could be great. No! Ho ho! Life is good. Um, we got a Mythic um, Gadget Tier. So that is going to be outstanding. And let's see. Come on, good rolls. What we damage? Slammy Slow Slow. Ah, shoot. All right. Um, really wanted the Copper Stampede. Um, it would be nice, not as great as the. Um, room sweeper but I would definitely take it if it had de decent stats this does not so all right well we got here damage magazine headshot damage stun damage now I'm getting up into the levels where I need something with elemental or energy damage on it otherwise I really just won't end up using it hardly at all and let's see, even with the sword, I'm really not getting um, much there. It does deal energy, energy damage, so that is good, but damage, damage, yeah. Kind of average sword. And what, do, yes, we got fire damage. Um, stun, stagger, and knock down is basically worthless. And weapon stability kind of worthless too <laughs> but on this I am only going to be really using this to kill lobbers from a distance and lobbers have hardly any hit points and I usually do headshots on them so this is still I might end up leveling up that um, the additional survivors are huge um, guardian bull um, if you love bull rush this is a great one to have I really don't use it that much, so I'm not going to worry. More Survivor. Let's see what we got on this one. Um, another just kind of average sword. Um, stats. Ooh. Weapon damage, fire, and causes affliction. Damage, crit chance, crit damage. This is an epic one, but I'm going to be leveling it up. Um, this is definitely a weapon I've wanted for a while. And it should be a lot of fun on my other account. Um, if you don't know, this is my second account. My first account, I've done everything in the game. And I spent a ton of money on that account. This one, I spent zero dollars on it. And on the other account, I never got a decent copper dragon. So it's kind of nice on the account I don't spend any money on. I get something I never got on the other one. This one, um, just normal stats. Nothing worth leveling up. More survivor. Loving that. And um, another survivor. Well, we got, got tickets, so I'll go ahead and do the spring thing. And the rest of this I'm really not worried about. 
So let's go ahead and head back. But yeah, the big thing is the um, Mythic Gadgeteer. Oh, I'm going to be using that like crazy. And this Impulse Control is so hard on this account because I I have money. I, I could easily go and buy a ton of V-Bucks and go ahead and hit up another Troll Loot Llama. But that's not what this series of videos is about. This series of videos is about how to do um, Fortnite all the way through without spending any cash on it. So I'm going to resist Impulse and I'm gonna just have to not get that second legendary loot llama. Let's see, more survivor. I'm getting a lot of survivor. This is gonna be great. I just got into Canny Valley, which means I opened up another skill tree and I've been opening up um, survivor slots. Ooh, what do we got? Legendary hero, Highlander Wildcat. Um, that is the Demolisher again. Unfortunately, they came up with all these cool skins. I actually really love the skins, but they're all on Demolisher. So, and Demolisher, um, just to go through it here quickly, um, you have your frag grenade. I always love frag grenades. Debilitating shots, basically making more vulnerable damage. Explosive rounds, killing 10 enemies with a ranged weapon. Um, deals additional damage in a one tile radius. So, it's kind of good. Pull the pin reduces the cost of the frag grenade, which is good. You got War Cry, giving you and nearby allies more damage. And um, attack speed, which is a good thing. Gr um, grenade generation every 20 kills with a ranged weapon grants one frag grenade, which is pretty good. You're going to be doing tons of kills and awesome. Oh, ah, excuse me. Oftentimes. Throwing out one frag grenade. Oh, that doesn't count towards it. You got to do it with a range weapon. And I would hope that counts RPGs, which would work out great. Um, uh, Mighty Roar, you're increasing your war cry. Headshot enemies increase um, weapon rate of fire. You got your shockwave, increases your shockwave. And then Cluster Bomb, releases six cluster explosive around the impact site will each do 25% of the original damage. So this is pretty good on the grenades, but it doesn't have that lingering grenade effect that the Urban Assault um, Soldier has. And I'm gonna have to look at this a little bit more. She is fairly decent, and I really do love the skins they're using on her. But I already have an Urban Assault and got her leveled up, so chances are, nah, probably won't be using it. All right. And let's see, don't have enough for a second one yet. And I just want to go into squads, go into survivors. And let's see. Trying to find gadget tier that is resistance. Although gadget tiers make me think of tech. But now we have this level 50 mythic. Yeah, it goes down a little bit in the beginning. But we, oh, I don't think I have anything. Yeah, I got a lousy 2,000 um, <laughs> survivor experience. So definitely need to get more of that. But this is great because I finally have the mythic. And the big thing is I hate spending experience and resources on um, survivors that I know I'm going to throw away or retire later on. But with her, I'm going to have her for the rest of the game. So now I can just dump tons of experience into her and leveling her up while I'm trying to get the other ones. And then once again, just going over the armory, heroes, new ones. We got the new Highland Warrior Wildcat, the Bull, um, the Ninja Brawler, and the Shock Specialist. I'll either put them in the collection book or um, retire them to help level up other heroes. Going into Survivor, we got a ton of Survivors besides the Mythic, which I already showed you. We have five more um, Epics. And these, the rare ones, I no longer have any blues in there except maybe one or two, which now that I have these, I'll have no rares in there. So these will end up either going also into the collection book or do not retire these. Take these to Transformation if you can. 
do and do, 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 do. defender really don't care about defenders we got two green ones so we will be retiring those schematics once again here for weapons um, the death wing I probably will level this one up a little ways because I do need something with the sniper rifle but these other ones without energy or elemental they are going to go into the book or get recycled this one does have energy. I'll have to check what I have for swords. This guy I will be keeping. We'll favor him right now. And unfortunately that cleared out the other stuff, but that's all trash and we're all good. So that is my llama opening. <laughs> so ask me any questions you got. Um, <laughs> I wish there was a way for me to get another 1,500 V-Bucks, but that's just not going to happen. Um, I got one challenge here. I've already done all my daily quests just to get the 1,500. And like I said, I'm not going to get 15 Storm Shield defenses done in 24 hours. So there you go. Enjoy.